Hey guys, right, welcome to another episode. Right, we're going to rip the window out at the back. You can see I've already ripped the window out. That's why I've got it so you can see there. And then um, I'm going to take you around and I'll show you. What they do is they put double-sided tape, like a foam tape down there. We're going to get rid of that. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. So we've got that window to do and we've got this window to do. So we've got a few tools down here. This is a great little handy tool. But I'll just set you up here for a minute. All right, we've got that window out down there. And we've got that out because it seems to be leaking around about here. And I'm, I don't want the floor to get wet anymore, so I'm sick of it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set you up. I've cleaned most of it all up here. Still got a bit of residue of the tape, but I've left a little piece just there, just so you can have a look. All right, so this is a really good scraper. You want a scraper that's straight like that, and this gets right up in there. So this is double-sided tape that's been on here for 30 years, I reckon. So it sort of flakes off. You remember too, there's staples there and there. So you gotta try and not scrape them off. But it doesn't matter if you do, you can always put a new one on. So that's what I've been doing. Get it all clean like that. Sort of see it comes off. I'm actually not going to use the double-sided tape um, again because that's I think it's a bad idea. I don't think my window is going to come out again. Um, and the, the foam, you're relying on the foam. It's just foam. Foam doesn't last long over like 10 or 20 years um, if you got it out in the weather all the time. So we're going to use that Sigaflex and there we go. So I just wanted to show you. Just wanted to show you um, how easy it is to get that off. But I've still got to get bits off it. I think we'll just get some turps. I'll get some turps on a rag and wipe it all off. Probably then some metho. Um, I gotta remember this 30 years of 30 years, I reckon it's 30 years of um, horrible guns and glue. Right, yeah, so we'll, we'll clean that up. I won't show you me cleaning that up now, I'll just give you a bit, bit of a rough idea now what I've done. You can actually see, see down in there. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. Anyway, you probably won't see that ever again in this video because once the window's on, once the window's on, you're not going to see that view again. All right, let me clean that, and I'll clean the window up, and then we'll reinstall it. All right, so I've got that all fairly cleaned. There's a bit of few marks there. A few bits of residue of um, what's there, but we've got all that cleaned, and I've got the window cleaned up there as well. So I've got all that, all that nice and clean on the inside. Gave it a bit of a scrub. Okay, anyway, so let's get it in there. I'm going to get the guns on there. Um, the T-Rex grab, Sigaflex, and then we'll, I'll show you these screws I'm going to put in too. I'm not going to use the um, conventional screws. I'm going to use these socket um, Allen key type screws. I custom got them for this job. Anyway, let's get into it.
I'm also putting the um, frizzy behind. So I'm not able to take writing them up. I don't want to stain them. Because that wood is, wood is pale. I'm going to make sure they cut soon. And I can see that it's funny, yeah? I'm going to take a little bit. Probably won't tell you that it's windows. That would be really nice. And then I'll stain it edges. And that's what I'm going to make it And I ain't going to waste it again. Because I got wood. So these are four mil screws, um, 16 mil long. That's not like a Allen key screw. I'm going to take it to this. And they're stainless, they're not steel. Because the stainless one's rough. I'm oh, sorry, the multi-wheel one's rough and then they, they don't hold it anymore. And don't forget we'll have to go inside we'll have to go inside and actually see if there's any excess inside a little bit of a pain of bundle by hand but um, you can feel it grabbing in that which is a good thing you don't want to over tighten them because some of them were rusted in there to work fairly fast because you don't want the Sigaflex to go off before before I actually um, seal the outside because I want to do the outside up nice as well and I'm not going to be worried about that leaking water now providing that seal on underneath is pretty good pretty sure it was the outside seal between what I just did We'll put enough guns on there, I can just clean it up. There we go. It's looking good. What else you could do there while, you, while it's um, doing it, you could actually leave it alone and then get a knife and cut the edge There we go, we've got all of them in. Make sure they're all in except for that one. And that top one, there's two top ones. There's that one. And two more. So, see what I mean with, see what I mean when I'm doing it up, you can see it squeezing out. That's what we want. Ooh, bit of an air bubble coming out. And this is the last one. There you go, I'm just gonna, just gonna take you off there and show you. So I've got that round all the way there. I'm actually gonna go around the Sigaflex. So I've got a pretty good seal over the top. So I've got a bit of excess there, which I don't care about. And then we'll just clean all that up. 
All right, so I've got that on there. That is all done. So we've got a nice, got it all sealed around there. Got it all sealed around there. So that window, that window is in. We're just gonna go inside and have a look inside, make sure that's all right now. I'm pretty sure it'll be right in here. So this window should not leak ever again. So look at that, it's all clean. It's all clean up there now. Got a little bit of guns there. There's a car swipe it down there. Not gonna see that because of the bed. Alright, there we go. That window is sealed. Alright, can rain as much as it likes. Rightio guys, this episode I'm just going to show you that just how I did the window there. I'm, I'm actually going to do that one later on. This one does not leak, but this one does leak a tiny, tiny little bit. And we've got to change the glass, so there you go. That's how I've changed the window. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So I've got stuff on my hands I'm not going to touch anymore, but it's a nice, neat fit. Nice, neat fit all the way around there, which I'm happy about. Rightio. That shouldn't get in the way of the power point. I'm going to put a power point there with a USB power supply. Anyway, oh, just want to show you two. Um, this is as far as I've got with the core flute. So, that is as far as I've got with the core flute there. So, there we go. Right around there. Pretty happy with that window. Rightio, so. Alright, next episode, um, we're going to do the covering on the inside of the wall. Um, alright guys, hope you like that, um, it's just been wet and horrible lately, so I haven't had to do a lot, that's why we're just doing that window, and I'll show you how far we've gotten, anyway, alright, I'll catch you next time, we'll fill the wall covering.